Hello, happy Saturday. Today we're making elderberry syrup. It's cold and flu season. Uh, elderberry syrup is a great product used to combat and possibly ward off viruses and colds. We're going to start out with a quart of purified water. And to that we're going to add one and one half cups of dehydrated elderberries. And this would probably be the same as adding three cups of elderberries. Because when you dehydrate, you lose usually about 65%. We're also going to be adding some citrus to our elderberry mixture. We're going to use two blood oranges, a lemon, and we're going to add some lime juice. What I did was I cut the oranges in half. These were washed and cleaned because we are going to throw the rind and all in. We want to get all the goodness out of it. We're going to take a fork and bust up the membrane so we know that we get all the good juice out of these oranges. These blood oranges were nice and sweet, really tasted good. We use two, so we're going to cut up one more. Since I didn't have a lime, I used a half a cup of lime juice that I had on hand. Also on your lemon, the lemon can have a piece that can fall out, so I cut the ends off the lemon. Then did the same to it, cut it in half, and added it to the pot also. It's important to break the membrane like this, that way you know your juice. Is, it's going to be easy to juice and get all the goodness out of the, the citrus when you break the membrane like this. There's our half a cup of lime juice. Next we're going to add a teaspoon of cloves. And I already had a teaspoon out so I used uh, three teaspoons of Ceylon organic cinnamon. Uh, it's the same as a tablespoon. So you can just use a tablespoon if you like. This Ceylon cinnamon really has a great taste. Could have probably actually added more to it. It's going to be nice to be able to just get your elderberry syrup when you run out and get it out and make some more real quick. Uh, this is ginger. I'm using my micro planer. I keep my ginger in the freezer so it lasts a long time. Took my micro planer and this is probably, I eat, my recipe is two tea, tablespoons, but I've actually probably got three tablespoons here. By micro planing the ginger, it's grated really fine. So if you have a fine grater, that's the same. Or you could just dice it up real small and add it. We're going to add it to the instant pot. We're going to cook it on high pressure for 20 minutes. After it cooks on high pressure for 20 minutes, you're going to strain the juice. I strained it through a fine uh, sieve, uh, but you can use whatever you have. If you just have an old dish towel that's clean and you want to use that to strain it through, strain it through and, and squeeze all the juice out of the remaining berries and citrus. Okay, this is our juice that's strained. You want to make sure you end up with at least four cups. If you don't have four cups, then take your uh, purified water and add it up to four cups. This is strong enough to be able to make four cups of elderberry syrup. I'm going to add one cup to my container because for each cup of elderberries, we're going to add a half a cup of local honey. That's all there is to this. Once we get this made and get our juice, all we're going to do is add our honey to it and it's ready to use. The dosage that what I read on the internet that most say that they take is a tablespoon a day. They become ill, they take a tablespoon every two hours during the day. Okay, we're to our remaining juice because we are going to pressure can the remaining juice, I'm going to add, for every cup, I've got three cups left, 
So I'm going to add a fourth a cup of sugar for every cup of juice. I just feel like the juice is going to do better if it's got a little bit of sugar in it when it's pressure canned. If you want to reduce the amount of syrup, of, uh, sorry, of honey that you add to it, instead of using a half a cup, maybe reduce it to a third of a cup. Once you get this done, get it stirred up well, add it to your jars. I actually had a little bit more than three cups, so I added what was left to my uh, elderberry syrup I already had mixed up. I just added it in with my elderberry syrup and honey mixture. I actually ended up with enough to start using. Probably had a close to two cups. Plus I canned a full pint plus a half a pint. And all we have to do when we want to make more syrup is add a half a cup of honey or a third of a cup of honey, whichever you choose, to the syrup. Warm it a little bit so the honey will incorporate in with the syrup easily. And just Shake it, whatever bottle you have it in, shake it up well before you use it. We're going to place it in our canner and we're going to pressure can it for 20 minutes. That's all it takes is 20 minutes. We've already take, put it in the pressure canner and got it out. It's not sealed yet, but I just took it out of the canner. This is your ready made elderberry syrup that you can put on the shelf. When you need more, you just will grab a, a jar, mix up your elderberry syrup and you're ready to go again. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer any questions. The recipe and how we uh, make the syrup will all be in the directions below. This is the Pressure Prepper. If you haven't joined my channel, do so. Have a great day. Have a nice weekend. This is the Pressure Prepper. I'm out.